Cool Album Covers. I'm Mark Major. Rich Bachelor. Episode 6, Black and White Band Photos. With us, special guest, Kurt Lloyd. You don't know how special this is. The missing Reel. Esteemed colleague. <laughs> Highly recommend. going to let you guys introduce me for the five general, more minutes. The esteemed week. gentleman from Kentucky will <laughs> yield his time. MC5, back in the USA, a black and white classic. Look at that, they're fresh out of the shower. With yeah, this, one another. this guy looks like one of the drummers for Spinal Tap. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that, uh, that blew up. Or an extra from uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. They're very, very happy. Kind of everyone looks like Russell Simmons in this case. They do look like they're in the sauna. Yeah, yeah. They're just men, men bonding together and their great love of proto punk and uh, steam rooms. They're schwitzing. So it was a great record. You know, I have mixed feelings about it. It's one of those albums that was on. Once upon a time, every critic's top ten list of greatest albums, goddammit, of all time. And I really think there's only one song in there that's really, really solid, and that's Shaken Street. I love that song. The rest of it, eh, I don't know. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, sure. Let's... Uh, this Rolling Stones album. Yeah, I never... I don't really listen to this one very much. I like it, but yeah, you're right. It does feel thrown together, including a couple really awkward live tracks. It's a great shot, though. Mm-hmm. The shot on the cover looks great. Keith looks great, though. Uh, I'm not sure how far uh, askew his lower jaw is from the rest of his face, <laughs> but he looks great. Hey, why are you looking at me? I just wanted to have his TV. It's hard to imagine that once upon a time the man was ever able to look like that at all, even when he was young. They all look handsome. Charlie looks good. Yeah, yeah Bill, if you could see Bill, Bill would be looking, you know, Eeyore-ishly good. Our third cover. By Alice Cooper. Love it to death. You know, you made some notation, Mark, about how that this is the censored album cover? Yeah, there's another version where his finger is poking out through the robe. Uh, Do you have this one, Kurt? I don't have this. Is this still Alice Cooper the band, or had we just moved on to... Uh, I think this is the only time it was the band. I believe it's the first album. Before Alice... Okay, before Vince started to believe his own hype. And it had I'm 18 on it, so it... Uh, mm hmm solid record. It's a surprisingly solid record. All the rest of it's pretty damn good, too. And I like the fact that, you know, harem pants and a whole lot of leopard print and, frankly, what looks like a camisole on the guy on the extreme left there. I don't know. Like, it was just such a different time. It's like, we're a bunch of tough guys from, you know, uh, Indiana or wherever, and we have decided to dress like your mom. Cheap trick. Ooh. Rockford, Illinois. I've also managed to forget what album that is Rick Nielsen is holding. It's it, From here it looks like Fleetwood Mac, but it's not. So here's a problem I have with this band, mm -hmm. and maybe you can help me out with it. Okay. I'm never really sure what they were going for as far as their appearance, their look. Well, I think that was purposeful. I think that they occupy a space in rock history in between genres and in between time periods in between dominant forces in rock and roll they live somewhere in the middle between classic rock punk and new wave they're kind of a, a, a perfect storm they're trying to be everything and you know some of the time totally pulling it off i, I don't think i could sit idly by and let you bash cheap trick okay they, they bridge big star and um kind of that angry skinny tie mm. stiff records power pop their anthemic stuff is the sort of thing that, you know, people of my older brother's generation embraced, and then some, and understandably. Banned. I don't know why this album would have been banned. Uh, the because Safari Jackets. <laughs> I'm looking at four crimes against fashion right now. It is, but it's still the Standell. The most talked about record of the year. I love the Standells. If I'm not mistaken, this is not an album that includes any of the songs that we know by the Standells. It's yeah, a I don't recognize a track on that record. <laughs> I'm a big garage rock guy, and... Uh... These were always one of those little pockets of uh, late 60s fun. I would recommend the Standells. I would, I would recommend probably the Sonics first. There's a couple others, but the Standells, they had their chops. They knew their gig. They made a lot of good noise that sounded crummy on record. They got banned. Mm. They got banned, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that belt is, is like Santa Claus wide, too. Well, takes an awful lot to hold up that much awesomeness. 